time it is. Um, We're just leaving. Uh, it's 9.30. 9.30. We just left Muskrat Creek Shelter. Um, we would have been off like probably a half hour ago, but when I was putting the tent away, the cap popped off the end of the trek, uh, the, the tent pole. And then we had to re-snake the line through the the poles, and then we lost the cap, And but it's all good. We found everything, and we're on our way. We're not going like, to get frustrated. Leah's drinking her Diet Coke this morning. Makes her happy. We got like a 12.9er in with us, and uh, you can see the skies are are blue. It's For gonna, now. Yeah, it's going to get cold tonight. Possible our socks snow. and our shoes are soaking wet. Yeah, I got my gloves on. They're I'm like soaked. Wet. I'm trying to dry them out by wearing them. My pants are soaking <clears throat> wet, so I have shorts on today. <laughs> and it's really cold. My raincoat's soaking wet. Yeah. We were hoping we were going to get it to dry everything out. It was supposed to be like high 60s today, but... It's changing it's to be like 20, 20 mile hour winds with gusts up to 40 again. And it might snow tonight. <laughs> but, oh well. Alright, we'll see you in a bit. You can see that, I think that this is from last night couple we walked by a couple <clears throat> um, blown down trees Uh, today is just gonna be one of those those days like we keep having like like gear malfunctions like I stopped to take my puffy off and uh my, my <coughs> belt buckle got all twisted up and was routing the wrong way and then Leo was trying to tighten hers but she didn't notice that she was tightened all the way so she kept pulling pulling this thing and this came all the way out she kept pulling that claw out I'm like babe you're just too skinny you can't go any tighter because she kept pulling it out but um one thing we we didn't get to really talk about yesterday was we're in North Carolina <laughs> We talked excited. about it a little bit, but yeah. it's been a lot greener. I tell you that, a lot greener so far. Um, we, we're super excited for that. Next milestone is the, the 100 mile marker, which we should be In hitting. In like two days, right? Yeah. Yeah. Staying positive. <laughs> Chunky get out. So I got asked a lot, why would you do something like this? Why would you go on such a long hike? Why do you do the outdoor stuff that you do? Well, this is why right here, these views. I don't know if you can see it as good.
there amazing, even though it's cold up here. <laughs> One of the things that uh, that we've been noticing that is really cool as I almost break my ankle talking to you guys <laughs> um, is that no matter how sore you are when you get to camp at night, no matter how tired you are and you're walking around like a achy old person, it's like the trail heals you. Like you wake up the next day you feel like a hundred percent. It's really weird. Would you not agree? Yep. It's totally weird. But we're also getting like 10, 10 or 11 hours of sleep because we always go to bed as soon as the sun sets and then we wake up at like 7-ish, 7.30, so. taking a, a break at Beach Gap. Doesn't look like a beach. I don't see no damn beach. Ain't no beaches around. But there's sun. Yeah. So we we just got to the bottom of uh, Standing Indian Mountain and we both agree that that, even though, what's the elevation on that? Oh, I don't know. She'll find the elevation quick. But uh, Easily, like we thought it was gonna be a hard mountain. It was five stars. 5,435. 5,435 feet. Uh, it, it's, it's switchbacks were perfect. Oh yeah, it wasn't steep. Perfect. Yesterday, the mountain we did, oh, that one was a steep one. So. This one was, it was real good. So the name comes from, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna destroy this uh, name. But the Cherokee name is, for it is Yun, Yunwitsul Nun, Nunyi, which translates to where the man stood. According to Cherokee mythology, Standing Indian Mountain is home to the remains of a Cherokee warrior. And uh, this war warrior has been uh, sent up to the mountaintop to keep a lookout for a winged monster. So, and now you know. Beautiful mountain, 10 out of 10. Yeah. Highly recommend. One of the best days that we've had. Best views we had for sure. Mm -hmm. So, Agreed. I'm glad, glad we, uh, I'm glad we took the day, the extra day at Brass Town, because if we would have done this, we would have been doing this mountain during the rain, and we would have missed the most beautiful sceneries so started out crappy morning turning out to be a fantastic day real good
this tree is pretty cool. Backing up. So you can see it uh it fell. Then it like impaled itself right into the ground. What's up everybody? We're back uh in uh in our home. We uh we're at Carter Gap for the evening. Uh today <coughs> today turned out way better than it we were expecting. Easily one of our favorite days on trail and uh standing Indian Mountain. Easily our favorite mountain. So far. The switchbacks were like nice and easy. Everything was Coming down was good on the knees. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that was a 12 and a half mile day today. Uh, tomorrow we're going to do close to a 16, I think about 15.9. Um, or we might stop early, so that way we're not, I don't know, we'll figure it out. We'll, we'll let you know tomorrow. But, um, early in. <laughs> today started off not so great but it ended up being a really good day. It was beautiful. The trail started out muddy. It was kind of rocky in spots, had roots, had a lot of trees blown down, but it was still a really good day. Yeah, all of our equipment malfunctions in the morning yeah. turned out to be not so bad the rest of the day. Right. No. So yeah, no rain today. Hopefully it doesn't snow tonight. So let's get to like 33 tonight. So we'll see. We're bundled up. Yeah. But yeah. We'll uh, we'll see you tomorrow.